Assalamu alaikum students. Uh, today we are going to start with our textbook page number 021 exercise 1b that we have already started in our classrooms. Uh, so you must uh, know that we have started with the basic level of LCM and HCF. LCM the lowest common factor and HCF are the highest common factors. So because you are already done with the uh, basic level, today I'm going to tell you how to exactly find out the highest common factors because in our first uh, question, find the highest common factors of each of the following sets of number. So we are going to start with the highest common factors. So I'm going to do the first question for you all and that is uh, 12 and 30. So we need to find the highest common factor that is HCF. So for finding uh, the highest common factor of 12 and 30, first of all we need to find out the L, uh, factors for 12 and the factors for 30. This work you need to do in your rough work on the right hand side uh, of your uh, notebooks. So first of all, I'm going to find the factor for 12. So uh, as I told you earlier that we are always finding from the smallest number, always start with the smallest number. So I have started with number two. So two, how many times is 12? Two, six times is 12. Then two, three times is six. And then three ones is three. So at the end here, we always need to uh, make it one. That means that we have uh, now done with our uh, complete solution. Now I'm going to find for 30. Again, I'm starting with a uh, two times table and I have already told all of you that how to find the number, how to check whether it is the multiple of two or no, it is the multiple of three or no. Uh, we have discussed it many times in the class. So I know, I'm sure that you, uh, you all must know about it, how to check the numbers. So uh, as we know that because here we have zero in the ones place, so it is the multiple of two. So two ones is two. So because here now one is left over, that left over will going over here and it will become 10. So two five times is 10. Now here again we have 15. Five is not the multiple of two. So 15 will not be the multiple of two. Now for three times we will check. In three times table, if you add up the numbers and if the sum of the number is multiple of three, that means the whole number will be the multiple of three. Five plus one is equals to six. Six is the multiple of three? Yes. So 15 is the multiple of three. Three, five times is 15. Now five ones is five. Here again we have one. That means we are done with this. Here one, that means we are done with this. Now here I'm going to write the factors of 12. The factors of 12 we have over here 2, 2 and 3. These three are the factors. So I'm going to write here 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3. Factors for 30. 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5. Now here we have written all the factors of 12 and 30. Now the common factors we will find the common factors. We have two common in both 12 and 30. Do we have any other number common? Yes, we have three in both of the numbers. So two and three are the two numbers. Now we are going to find the HCF. For HCF, first of all, we will going to write the common factors. That is two and three. Okay. So 2 and 3 are the common factors. So we have written both 2 multiplied by 3 and we are going to multiply these two numbers. Okay, 2 3s is 6. So 6 is your highest common factor. 